Welcome to another episode of Cookie Vision. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a ugly Christmas sweater. And that's kind of subjective. I don't think they're pretty ugly. They are pretty, uh, well, festive, I guess you can call them. So I'm doing a royal icing transfer technique, and I just have a piece of cardstock that I cut out underneath a piece of parchment, and I'm using a stiff consistency green icing to create a Christmas tree. I'm basically using the cardstock underneath as a guide, and these I'm going to let completely dry, um, preferably overnight, so I can peel them off the parchment and apply them to my cookie. I just got a quick sprinkling of little uh, rainbow sprinkles on there as well. So first up, I'm going to use this shirt-shaped uh, sugar cookie, and I'm going to outline the sleeves, and I've got a green piping consistency royal icing here. This is a number two tip, and I'm just outlining the sleeves and filling them in with a flooding consistency green of the same color, um, and a, a flooding consistency, so that's my flooding consistencies tend to be the consistency of um, school glue, whereas my piping seems to be the consistency of toothpaste. So not the most appetizing thing to compare them to, but for um, for your reference, it's, it's a lot easier to tell you it that way. So next up, I've let these uh, crust up a little bit and I'm doing the red part of the shirt and I'm outlining it with a red royal icing with a piping consistency and flooding it in with some red of the same color in a flooding consistency, so I just keep this in a squeeze bottle. And I'll just use my scribe tool to even it all out and get rid of any air bubbles. Now, while the red is still wet, I'm piping in some white flooding consistency and using my scribe tool, just basically putting it into the icing and pulling upwards or downwards depending on where you want your scallops to go. And it creates this really nice scallop shape or scallop design on the sweater for the collar and the bottom. And I just sprinkled a few uh, sprinkles on there and added the uh, royal icing transfer that I made earlier. Next, I'm just going to give it a little bit of a sparkle. So I'm using some gold luster dust that I've mixed with vodka. And I'm just splattering it on with a brush and my finger. And you can see it adds a nice little touch of uh, festiveness. And I've got a nice fat tip on here. This is a number five tip with piping consistency white. And I'm going to dip it into some sprinkles to create a collar and uh, the bottom of the sweater, make it look a little fluffy. And I'm just adding some stripes to the sleeves with a number two tip with a red piping consistency royal icing. And you can see how that turned out. Nice ugly sweater for you. And I've got another one here. I didn't actually put any sprinkles or a tree on it, but I did do the collar and the bottom in the same way as my last shirt here with some sprinkles. And for this one, I'm going to be doing a little snowflake on the front. So I'm just quickly doing the um, stripes on the arms with a red piping consistency with a number two tip. And I've got some white here as well. This is a white piping consistency with a number two tip as well. And I'm just doing a quick little snowflake shape. And I have some white sugar pearls here too, just to add a little bit of extra shine and decoration. And I just put that in the middle. And I'm just adding a little bit of extraness or extra, <laughs> sorry, extra uh, decoration to the snowflake. So there you have it. I got two different ugly uh, Christmas sweaters here to choose from. You could do whatever you want in the front, obviously. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like me on Facebook and on Instagram. Bye, guys.